Hello, um, this is Angela Columbano. I'm a um, director of um, business development at Geneton, and I'm going to spend the next 15 minutes uh, giving you an overview of what we do at Geneton uh, and uh, our pipeline and our business development strategy. So Geneton was created uh, um, 30 years ago by the French Association of uh, Patients for uh, Muscular Dystrophy. And um, this is an association that have raised uh, uh, millions of uh, dollars every year and invested a large amount of it in research for rare disease. So Geneton uh, is a nonprofit uh, biotherapy R&D organization. And uh, we have an integrated R&D center. We're gonna see in a minute how we are organized. And we really are uh, among the research leaders in gene therapy since the beginning of, uh, of gene therapy. We were created in 1990, and uh, it originally we, did, we spent a lot of time uh, by um, mapping the first, uh, the first to map the human genome. And then since 1997, we started to uh, work in uh, gene therapy. And uh, as of 2006, we dedicated also a large amount of resources in biomanufacturing, which is uh, critical and key for gene therapy. Some key facts and figures. Uh, there's, uh, we, we have been able to realize a number of uh, uh, collaboration and partnership in the last few years, for example, with Novartis, with Spark, uh, with Sarepta, with Audentes. Uh, many products that are already on the market in gene therapy have, um, have um, some, uh, oh, uh, a lot of intellectual properties from Geneton, for example, Zorgen SMA, or, uh, which is already on the market, or Lumevoc uh, that is uh, currently under market authorization for a rare ophthalmology disease. We have um, eight uh, product in clinical trials that are coming from R&D uh, at Geneton, 10 uh, programs that we are uh, planning to launch uh, in, uh, to, to start clinical uh, research, uh, clinical trials within the next uh, three years, uh, and a total of 220 people working uh, in uh, different research and development activities uh, at uh, Geneton. Um, Geneton has not acted alone, and we have been able to create within uh, the discovery and the clinical development and manufacturing a very strong network with various institutions and companies that allowed us uh, to really innovate in gene therapy. And we have filed more than 600 patents, and we have created international network for KOL and patent organiza patient organization and uh, a network of clinical centers. So we have a group of about 60 scientists that work in the discovery group of Geneton. Uh, we work hand-to-hand -hand with a unit of INSERM, which is the equivalent of NIH in France. Uh, the, the, the academic from INSERM work together in the same uh, labs uh, as the researchers from Geneton. We have an expertise in both lentivirus, ex vivo, in vivo, and in AAV modalities. We also have a team dedicated to CMC development. We are able to to go from uh, uh, to up to 200 liters, scale it up uh, within our facilities. Uh, and we have a group of experts in regulatory and clinical uh, uh, development. So our portfolio, we have um, a number of products uh, in uh, obviously neuromuscular disease that is one of the important uh, um, focus and objective for Geneton. Uh, some project product are already uh, being partnered, for example, uh, uh, the asset in tubular myopathy that is currently being developed by Odentes. We have a partnership with Sarepta for Duchenne, a microdystrophin product that should start uh, first in human um, very shortly in 2021. We have um, um, a portfolio of uh, asset in limb girdle muscular dystrophies, uh, which are currently being spin off uh, in a new organization called Atami, and I'm going to tell you a little bit in a minute. And then we have uh, also other approaches in Duchenne and in ALS SOT1. We also have um, a portfolio of uh, program in liver and metabolism diseases. We have an asset, a, pro a product in Krieger Najjar, this is an ultra rare disease, uh, is in phase one, two, uh, dose escalating study. A, a, an asset in Pompe disease that is being licensed to Spark, and a number of uh, products uh, in, um, in, uh, in uh, preclinical development, GSD3, GST1A, the, and other approaches in metabolism that we are currently planning to spin off in a project called Flamingo. So this is just to tell you a little bit about our partnering strategy. 
um, with the, within Geneton, we obviously are um, active in finding collaboration in gene therapy programs uh, as well as in technology platforms. And I'm going to tell you in a, in a little bit in a minute what we do in technology platforms. We have two projects of, of spin off creation. One is more advanced, as the company has been already created in limb girdle uh, muscular dystrophies. Uh, and the second is Flamingo, that is novel technology metabolic and CNS diseases. And we have our preferred manufacturing alliance through Iposcasis, that is our preferred CDMO. So with regard to, to technology platform, our objective is really to, um, first of all, work on the efficacy of gene therapy uh, by enhancing efficacy through proprietary um, and tissue specific capsid promoters and gene editing approach to overcome one of the biggest issues in gene therapy, there is the immune response. Uh, and so to allow patients so that are seropositive to be dose or a second dose um, without getting the issue of uh, the immune response, the neutralizing antibody. And uh, we, do do, we do that through a number of uh, these clinical uh, um, approaches and strategy. And I'm gonna give you an example in a minute. And, and finally, the big pillar of our innovation is improved bioproduction. We wanna get the 100 uh, uh, productivity jump uh, through different uh, um, um, approaches. Uh, we're going to give you um, a flavor in a minute. So with regard to uh, CAPSIDs, uh, we have a technology platform that includes uh, um, a, a rational design and engineering of uh, AAV-based uh, CAPSIDs by um, a, a backbone of a low zero prevalence and insertion of region that drive organ tropism. So what we want to achieve uh, in for this with this platform is high organ tropies, is low zero prevalence and high manufacturing yields. And these three aspects are tested uh, at the same time at the beginning of, um, of the rationalization of the design. More than 10,000 variants have been identified and over 100 capsid have been already tested through in vivo by distribution studies. So the second uh, platform uh, is, uh, as I mentioned earlier on, uh, is how do we address uh, the immune response uh, to gene therapy, which doesn't allow a second dose of gene therapy, it doesn't allow to address the problem of uh, treating seropositive patients. We have a number of technologies and a number of approaches that we have developed at Geneton. This is an example, is the use of IDES to degrade IgG and to control pre-existing immune response. So to be able to hopefully treat uh, um, patients that are seropositive. And we have demonstrated this uh, in, um, in, uh, in monkey, in non-human primate, the efficacy of IDES uh, in terms of uh, controlling the pre-existing uh, immune response to AVV. This uh, work has been published in Nature Medicine last year, and it's also been uh, 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 filed in a patent application. So this is just um, a slide to summarize the work that we do in bioprocess. This is one of the key bottleneck in gene therapy. We want to achieve an yield improvement of uh, 100 times. And we do that through the whole uh, up and uh, upstream and downstream of gene therapy bioprocess by improved um, um, produce, uh, novel producing uh, uh, cell lines, by using novel transfecting agents, by working on plasmids, by um, working on novel cell type and cell free system, and finally by uh, optimizing the analytical method. So we, I just wanna conclude by telling you a little bit about two spin-off projects that we have uh, today um, at Geneton. The first is Atamio. Atamio will be the leading uh, company in limb girdle muscular dystrophies. So the company has been created as a spin-off from Geneton at the end of 2020 and is currently going through a Series A fundraising where we hope to, um, to raise uh, about $50 million or plus uh, to bring these uh, uh, programs to clinical development and approval. And um, um, the second project uh, is the Flamingo. It's a joint project between Geneton and Institute of Myology, which is also being created by the IFM Teleton and is a center of excellence for muscular, for study of the muscle. It is a, a project that will address a pipeline of uh, multi-organ um, um, pathologies that uh, represent uh, really the expertise of both Geneton and Institute of Myology, liver, CNS, and muscle. 
and we are bringing uh, innovative uh, technologies such as the high tropics capsid uh, specific promoters uh, and the immunomodulation response that we just uh, mentioned that came from geneton together with our manufacturing capabilities uh, to have uh, a number of uh, programs that are really um, either addressing uh, based on gene transfer, transfer or antisense oligonucleotide gene silencing. So we have um, a different program and we expect the first uh, in human uh, uh, within 2023 for at least two of the program that will be part of uh, this pipeline. So this is all uh, I wanted to tell you about Geneton. Uh, it's been really a pleasure and uh, uh, thank you very much for your attention.